These fires are part of a pattern of fires that have been occurring in California over the past couple of decades, where now the 15 of the 20 largest wildfires in California's history have occurred since the year 2000. So what we're seeing is a much more intense and more frequent occurrence in these types of wildfires, which are being exacerbated by longer dry seasons and stronger winds. There are several reasons, including increased expansion of human habitats into these forested areas. But a central reason is climate change. Climate change generally is making wetter areas wetter, drier areas drier. As drier seasons get longer, vegetation gets drier, uh, and it becomes a tinderbox and ideal conditions for the spread of wildfires such that just one single spark can lead to a wildfire that spreads over thousands of acres. The way to think about climate change is like a baseball player on steroids. You can't point to one home run and say that was directly linked to their steroid use. But if you look over the course of a season and that player has hit 80 home runs, you can say with a pretty high level of likelihood that a good portion of those home runs were due to this player taking steroids. And it's the same thing with climate change. While you can't point to any one particular fire and say that is precisely due to climate change, you can say it was made much more likely as a result of climate change. So the mayor of LA has said that the Getty fire was likely started from a branch falling onto a power line that created the spark which started the fire. But what's clear is that the conditions that climate change is exacerbating means that a freak accident like that can still lead to these massive types of wildfires. It's sometimes easy to forget in this discussion of climate change that it has these real impacts on the ground, not just in terms of people losing their homes, but also in terms of uh, the risks to ecosystems. Southern California has some pretty unique ecosystems that are directly at risk from these wildfires. And as uh, more and more acreage burns, you're going to have more smoke in the atmosphere, which contributes to air pollution and puts vulnerable portions of the population at risk, particularly those that suffer from asthma and other respiratory illnesses. So the scientific consensus is that across the world, these kind of extreme weather events are only going to increase in frequency and intensity. Not just wildfires, but looking at hurricanes, you're looking at droughts, you're looking at flooding, which we've already seen across the United States. And these are the costs of climate change, the cost of not acting as quickly as the science suggests we should. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.